Hey guys, so what are the two things that make boot camps fail? Number one, a lot of the boot camp teachers were the boot camp students from six months ago. In fact, I was just on a call with somebody who just finished the boot camp and they were asked by the boot camp if they could teach the next class. Now, the problem with this is that you have the blind leading the blind. You never want to learn from somebody who is just an academic or especially don't want to learn from somebody who just got out of the boot camp. That is crazy. You need to learn from somebody who is an industry professional because the difference between success and failure in any industry is understanding what actually goes on in the real world. So that's the number one fail for a lot of boot camps is a lot of the teachers have no experience in the uh, profession of developer. Now the problem for the boot camps is that they can't afford to pay the teachers nearly as much as they would make as professional developers. So if you're a professional developer, average developer in the U.S. makes like 99,000 bucks, that's average. Why would you take a job making 60 grand working for a boot camp? The answer is you wouldn't. So that's a problem that they have. They have a hard time finding teacher talent. The second fail for a boot camp is the way that they structure curriculum, the way they structure their courses. The boot camp motto, boot camp is based on a military boot camp, which is designed to weed people out, to put them through high stress situation, to weed them out. Cause you know, in war, you want tough minds, right? A lot of pressure. But anybody who knows anything about education, I've been working with schools for over a decade now. I come from a family of teachers, including my father. Anybody who knows anything about education knows that a uh, high pressure situation is antithetical, is the opposite of what you want if you want to have a really good educational experience and outcome. So the whole idea of having people learn six, eight hours a day uh, over X number of weeks, high pressure situation where you have to finish JavaScript by this date and then you have to go on to Python by that, by that date. This is the literally the opposite of what you want if you want to have high quality education. Now I've been working with districts in schools across North America for over a decade now, some very advanced districts. And the most advanced districts use what they call a self-paced uh, learning model. What does that mean? That means the students literally learn at their own pace. Now, whether it takes you two, three months to get your head wrapped around JavaScript or four or five months, it's immaterial in that environment. It doesn't really matter. It's like climbing to the top of the mountain. Once you get there, you're there. Whether it took you a little bit longer to get there, it's irrelevant, doesn't matter. So whether it takes you a month or four months to learn JavaScript, it doesn't really matter. Because once you understand how to code, once you understand the concepts of development and programming, you have it, it can't be taken away. It doesn't impact anything. I have seen over the years of training people, and I've been an active developer since 94, what I have found is that you have different people have different uh, strengths and weaknesses, different proclivities. So you may be good at JavaScript and somebody else may be, may be bad at it. On the other hand, somebody else may be great at CSS and you may be bad at it, even though you're good at JavaScript. You see where I'm going? So the great thing about development is that you can find your niche in there. You can find where you will be strong, where you might not be strong. And again, it doesn't really matter, again, if it takes you one month to learn JavaScript or four months. It doesn't really matter. So the whole boot camp model of forcing you to adhere to a strict schedule is thumbs down. Uh, the other problem is that uh, you have a lot of times this major time commitment. Most people going to boot camps, they have jobs or they have families. They have things to do. So to have to stop their lives to go into this boot camp where they're sitting there six, eight hours a day doesn't make any sense. The boot camp should allow for flexibility in terms of your schedule. Everybody's got a different schedule. And finally, uh, the brain can only work at maximum capacity for three to four hours a day for the average individual. So have them, having people sit in class uh, or six hours a day or eight hours a day is it's kind of a waste of time. It's actually a total waste of time. I recommend if you're learning to code, minimum 20 minutes a day, maximum four hours a day. Just like weight training. If you train every day and you don't give your body a chance to repair and heal, not only will you not make progress, you're probably gonna do more damage to your body. 
Same thing when you're learning anything new, especially complex things like coding. You have to give your brain time to make those neural connections. So it's good to take days off. What I recommend when you're learning how to code, anything intensive, four days a week, you let your, your mind and your level of mental fatigue tell you what you need to do. But I'd say do Monday, Tuesday, take Wednesday off. If Thursday, Friday, take Saturday, Sunday off. Something like that. Switch it around as well. If you really don't feel like doing some coding that day or some work, just do 20 minutes, you know. Don't have to spend eight hours. You don't have to spend one hour. Just do 20 minutes. Doing that will habituate your brain to uh, learning to code, and it's going to make the whole process much easier. Anyway, I hope that helps. Those are the big problems with the boot camp model. I'm not a big fan of the traditional boot camp. I do, in full disclosure, have a boot camp mentoring program. It's very different from any other program. Based, first of all, it's based on solid pedagogical uh, principles since I've been working with schools for over a decade. I use my own software, which I design working with the schools over the years to really make teaching and learning how to code really, really easy and fun. Um, it's open-ended, meaning you can work at your pace. Um, it's, uh, it follows all the principles I just described, by the way. And it's designed to teach people to get up and running, to become professional developers uh, as quickly as humanly as possible. Oh, yeah, one other thing. If you want to become a professional developer, the coding part of it is foundational, is key. But there's a whole bunch of other skills, soft skills, job getting skills, uh, project, man project management skills, interpersonal skills. These are all very important as well if you want to be professional in any field. I cover that in the boot camp. It should be in any training program, really. So there you go. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, any criticisms, feel free to comment below. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.